Do you have any pro tips for how to tell if it's artifact? Typically, artifact is alarming as ventricular arrhythmias versus atrial arrhythmias. I think there are a, a couple tools. One, in a patient with a sick heart, always assume it's not an artifact. So if there is a premature beat on top of that longer QT interval, that can induce something like torsade. So if you see something like that, like a long R interval followed by a short one, that short one could fall within a QT interval and cause arrhythmia. So if you see some initiation like that, that's worrisome. In the middle of the rhythm, you always want to get calipers or get a sheet of paper and march out what the preceding normal QRS interval was. Because sometimes in the middle of an artifact, you can actually see spikes all through the toothbrushing artifact, where you can actually see what the true QRS interval is in the middle of an artifact that's actually marching out the true QRS. And if you don't see that, then that should be worrisome that this is a true arrhythmia. And then the last thing is, anytime that there's any sort of tachyarrhythmia at the termination, there's usually some type of pause. So if there is a tachyarrhythmia that you're worried is a monomorphic or polymorphic VT that you're marching out to 280 or 310 beats per minute. And then within less than one box, less than 200 milliseconds, a QRS shows up. That just can't happen. There is enough stunning of the ventricular myocardium that there has to be some pause, whether it be a half second, one second, two seconds, three seconds before the reinitiation of true rhythm. So again, I look before to see if there's some characteristic long, short interval that could actually be uh, worrisome for the initiation of a ventricular arrhythmia. I try to march out in the middle to see if there's uh, the true QRS interval in the midst of an artifact. And then I look for that pause at the end. 